Hello friends, welcome back to the Codice Spacer tutorial. So in this particular tutorial, I'm going to talk about MQTT and how we can connect VLC using MQTT with other devices. So let's check it out. So let's first understand what exactly the MQTT protocol is and why it is developed and what exactly it is doing. So MQTT is basically a standard for IoT messaging. So it is a messaging protocol. Uh, for the internet of the things and it is was developed uh, for the lightweight solution and to work at a less power consumption so it is called as mqtt is a lightweight publish and subscribe it, we use to publish the data and subscribe the data and it is used for machine to machine network protocol for with the help of message queuing so it was basically developed for the oil and gas pipeline business by the ibm so initially, uh, pipeline businesses as they are liquidated in the remote areas, and we used to gather the data of those pipelines, uh, which is very important. And in order to gather the data, as they are remote, so very less frequently people visit there. So they wanted a device which should be consuming less power and run for a long time and provide publish all the data, which can be subscribed at a remote location and gather all the data at that particular place. So it was using MQTT, which was at that time called as a message queuing telemetry transport. Okay. But now in the current situation, we are using MQTT 5.0. The IBM has made it open source. So now it comes under OSS organization and message queuing telemetry transport is not, not now the acronym for the MQTT. MQTT is used as a MQTT only. So no message queuing telemetry transport. Now today's world, we are using it mostly for connecting with IoT, IIoT world. So what are the component which are defined? So first thing which utilize is the MQTT broker, which is the heart of the system where all the configuration, all the server, basically it is a server which, can, which keeps running all the items and allow it to connect with different client so as i told client so basically mqtt broker which has all that processing happening which connects with mqtt client mqtt client can be any machine devices sensors or it can be any devices like where we utilize like mobile or the computer so these are called as mqtt client so it can be publisher and subscriber so uh, let's understand the architecture of MQTT, how exactly it works. So MQTT is an event-driven protocol, which means that every publisher will publish whenever there is change in the data, and then only the broker will pass those information to all the subscribers which are connected or MQTT client, which are connected to the broker. So when we are talking about the data or the messages, then this message header should be minimum of two bytes. Then then only it will understand that uh, the message is correct so we need to maintain a minimum of two bytes and what should be the maximum the maximum can go maximum of 256 mb so that is why we call it is a lightweight because if you see the structure is not consuming much uh, data so it should be lightweight so minimum which is needed now when we are passing all these informations it means we need to also check the quality of the service so quality of service levels has been defined into three categories. So first is the level zero, which is fire and forget, means each message is delivered to the subscriber, but there is no confirmation. So it is something like that your delivery agent has delivered at your doorsteps, but neither they call or nor they check whether it ha you have got or someone else has taken your uh, parcel, which means uh, that if the subscriber is offline, uh, it doesn't understand whether the subscriber has uh, received the message or not so it has just uh, published uh, sent the message to all the clients and then it forgets whether uh, the subscribe is online or not line. the second level is level one which is at least one delivery which means that it checks for the confirmation whether the message has been received by within a specified time or not if it doesn't then it will resend the message again so there are chances in this that uh, subscriber will get message twice but it will reconfirm within a defined period of time the third one is exactly once delivery 
exactly once delivery means it will check the client and broker use four step handshake method to ensure that message is received which means that exactly once the message should be received by the subscriber so it is something like that uh, some delivery uh, parcel and they come to your doorstep and get it done so let's see how exactly we can configure them into wago controller and connect with mqtt protocol or mqtt broker so in order to configure the mqtt broker in the wago we need to go to cloud connectivity and set up a connection so if you see uh, what i have used is mqtt any cloud mqtt any cloud but it supports a lot of other options also like aws ibm cloud uh, wago cloud why i'm using mqtt any cloud because i can connect to any of the mqtt broker so we need to provide here some details so i'm using here the ub dots uh, which is one of uh, the broker i'm using and in order to configure ub dots uh, we need to get first thing is the endpoint url uh, which we need to put in the host name so this is the host name and endpoint url also accordingly we can connect to the broker we need the port number so as it is unsecure so it is 1883 but if it is a secured connection it will be 8883 we need to provide a client id uh, then we need to provide a username so in order to get the username in ub dots if you see it is an encrypted one so we need to go to uh, the settings in the inside ub dots api credential in the api credential we can find the default token so if you see we have the default tokens so in order to we need to click to show once we click there it will uh, show uh, the token and the same token we need to use and uh, put into the username so this is the token which will which we have utilized in the username we don't need password because this is a token already generated so we don't need either password so now let's go into the uh, device configuration we have done and we will now utilize how we can communicate with and publish and subscribe because message mqtt is for publishing and subscribing so mqtt broker is configured our co communication is configured so now let's check out here the function blocks which we will utilize to connect with the devices so for that we need I'm using here the library provided by Wago, which is Wago App Cloud library. And in this one, we will come to know how we can add it. So we need to click on the add library and we can go and click Wago App Cloud and search for it. So once it is, it will search, we can add it from the library method. So once uh, it is found, uh, we can select on the library and we can click on OK to add it into our library manager now uh, once this uh, library will get added we can go and we can get all the documentation about all the blocks how to use how to uh, utilize into our program so when we click on the particular library and go into the program organization unit we can see we have function blocks so as we are using net native mqtt so in the native mqtt we have publish and we have subscribe method uh, function block which we can utilize for our program so it, we need to first define the function block instance name so in the function block instance name i'm defining also the connection port uh, with which i'm connecting and then uh, we need to define and uh, configure the topic so topic name which is configured into the ub dots so let me go to the ub dots first how exactly this are defined so here if we see we have the devices data so in the devices we are defining a device so let me open the device so here uh, i have configured the device called wago and in the wago i have configured two variables which is in one and on off so these are the two topics which is configured and that is what we will utilize uh, into our program so if you see the topic i'm using here on off for the digital part so as i'm subscribing it so for the subscription part there are a couple of things which we need to uh, check so first is the topic name which we have configured uh, another is the uh, subscribe so x subscribe will be there 
which we need which will be a, basically a trigger to subscribe to that particular topic so let me call this particular program into the main and then we can download the code and then let's check it out how exactly it is working so once it is downloaded we are in online so how exactly this block will work we need to first trigger the subscribe so that it gets subscription with the topic name and now if you see let me bring the dashboard of the UV dot so this is what the button for the on off and when we toggle it it will toggle the value into the PLC also as we have subscribed so the broker is putting the value whatever we are sending it from the to the subscription if you see I made it off it has become zero so let me also show you from another uh, client basically so this is on the mobile so I'm setting it on off and if you see here at every process it is getting updated now uh, when I'm doing it from the UV dots uh, the light is getting updated and the value is also getting updated so let me show you on a real device how exactly it will work so I, when I made it on the output of the PLC is getting on and it is triggering the light there so this is how exactly uh, all the subscription part will work so when we subscribe when we make it toggle so hardware till the hardware we can connect it and it will work so uh, the next uh, part which uh, we are going to talk is about publish so subscription happen now we need to also publish correct so from the plc we will be publishing the data to the broker and from there the broker all the client which are there they will connect and they will basically subscribe to that so from plc we will publish the data and all the other clients it will subscribe so we will use a uh, function block publish mqtt and here also we have to provide the topic name that uh, and the another thing which is important is the trigger so we need to trigger every time when we have to publish the data okay so let me show you in the program how exactly it is working so here we have defined the topic connection we have defined and then i have written a small program to publish the data which will keep running and with each cycle the trigger will get triggered and it will publish the data which are getting generated to the cloud so let me call the ability to publish here and let me generate and download the program so it is called i'm generating the code and downloading it into the plc so the code is downloaded so now if you see we are uh, the trigger is getting triggered it is true so it is happening in every cycle so it is always visualizing as true yeah so if you see uh, this is how the trends it is generating on the mobile device so this is on the mobile i have configured another mqtt client and if you see it is sending the data into json format into a text file text text and or the json format basically so this is how we can publish the data so now this data is I'm, right now I'm seeing in the real-time mode in the live so this is also getting historized in our server uh, so we can go anytime and we can select the time period and we, we can see the data what was published at that particular time so we can create a, a good dashboard uh, using this on the broker so this is how we can be able to publish the data so basically this is how the whole MQTT works, publish and subscribe and connect to any of the devices on the IoT.
Thanks for watching. That's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.